Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kingdom Battle Across Time Collection Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp set. Yeah, um, I know I'm a bit late to this one but I pre-ordered mine through Amazon because I had a £5 discount voucher so I had to wait a little bit longer. I know they popped up on Hasbro Pulse about a month ago and I was like, oh well that's just flipping typical in it. But um, yeah, I just, uh, the five is a five or so, yeah. Right, so let's have a look at the packaging and this packaging is very nice because it is a Generations package. Package? I don't know how else to say that. Uh, it's a Generations box, but it's not one of the horrible brown ones, although it, it did come in one of those. Um, just, uh, this is what it came in. It, that was inside this, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm getting at. It's, it's better than the horrible plain brown ones that we've been getting lately. Uh, so yes, anyway, you get a nice picture of Skywarp and Sideswipe on the front there, and they do look pretty cool. I have just recently reviewed Red Alert, which is the same mould. Um, so if you're interested in that, do please go check out that review. But uh, carrying on with this one. Nice bit of artwork on the front there, I do like that. We've got the golden disc thing on the side, and I think we're nearly done. Uh, what are we? I'm still waiting on Tigertron, but uh, I'm still waiting on Rhinox as well, actually. There's been a bit of a delay on that one, so when I get him, I'll do a review. But I think we've got everything else now at this point. Getting to the end, aren't we? Oops. So there you can see the two figures on the back there and um, yeah I mean it's just remolds really isn't it just slight retool on this one um, and the same for sideswipe but we've already seen that one so. and on this side you get this uh, I don't know why it's randomly scorponok there <laughs> uh, anyway right so that's it for the box let me get them out and we'll take a closer look Right, so here is Skywarp and Sideswipe out of their box and uh, I, initially I wanted this set for the Sideswipe but honestly the standout figure for me is the Skywarp. I think this guy is awesome. But before I get into all the details, let's have a look at what they come with. So in the case of Sideswipe, he does come with his shoulder cannon which uh, is the exact same one that he came with in uh, well, Siege, it was, a, it was a long time ago, and it, it does snap apart, so he has that, and he has his rifle, which again is the same, so that yeah, just, uh, it's done in, it's done in black, oh, it's done in black, can't speak again, it's done in black and then painted white because everybody knows that painting white over black is a really good idea. <sighs> so yeah, so in places it looks really patchy, especially on the inside there you can see where it's just barely gone on, but um, yeah it's not a big deal, it's just, it's just silly little things isn't it. And for Skywarp he does come with the same missiles that came with Air Razor, but then I wasn't expecting anything different and I honestly don't have a problem with it because they look good. So I'm going to I'm going to start this I'm going to take Skywarp out of the way because honestly he's going to be my main focus for this video because we've seen this mold now several times um the sky the oh god oh it's going to be one of those reviews. We've seen the side swipe quite a few times now and I have just recently reviewed the red alert version of this which is exactly the same except for the head sculpt and the paint job but as you can see it's sideswipe in his earth mode and um, his his legs just keep wanting to go on me so um yep furniture furniture varnish going on there for sure oh dear and the price of this set anyway yeah he looks pretty good I don't know what it is about this head sculpt that makes him look really grumpy. It's it's his lips. They just it just looks weird. 
but yeah otherwise it's it's the same really there's, there's not much different I mean the, the biggest difference here really is in the alt mode isn't it where it's the the more earthly Lamborghini alt mode but yeah that looks okay that looks all right and you can of course equip him with his shoulder cannon pops in there you can put it in either side and we'll give him his gun so there I've just realized I forgot to do the instructions just sitting at the back there I'm having one of them days I really am right let's just have a quick look then <laughs> I'm not gonna start the video again it's instructions you know how instructions work so yeah and it's just both of them in the one so you've got skywalk on that side and you've got side spike on that side so there you go instructions God, Honestly, I'm just, I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been really busy this past week and I'm really knackered. So anyway, yeah, there you go. That's, um, that's side swipe. So we'll have a closer look at him in his alt mode in a bit. But for now, I'm going to put him off to the side. And I'm going to bring in Skywarp again. Because as I said, for me, this is the, this is the, the most interesting of the two figures. I really like this guy. I know he's just a repaint of Air Razor, but he just looks so good. He really does. I love the colour and the head sculpt is is pretty much bang on from the animation. Just looks awesome. Yeah, really nice. So we're going to have a closer look at him. We'll do the articulation and everything. And I will run down the transformation for this guy as well because I did, I, I did review Air Razor, but I never got around to putting her up on the channel and it just sort of got later and later and later. But um, I can put that up if anybody wants to see it. I'm happy to do that. But yeah, for now, let's look at this guy. And as I said, he is very animation accurate he does look really good that face sculpt is lovely it's really well done and it's painted in silver and some red eyes yeah it looks really good and I love the colors as well um I would I, I I'm kind of torn because the toy the wing color is more of a bronzy gold I'll get it out in a minute um, but the animation, this is probably more accurate to the animation, so I don't, I don't know if I'd maybe like the wings to have been a bit more bronze. I don't know, this is, oh, this is fine. Again, minor teeny little nitpicks, but you can see he's, he's just Air Razor. Oh, yeah. uh, interesting thing, actually, if, you, if you're not a Beast Wars fan, or if you are and you're not aware of the... Um, the changes that the Japanese made to the cartoon they um, for reasons unbeknown to anyone they decided to change Air Razor's gender from female to male um, which kind of makes the bit with Air Razor and Tigertron um, odd I mean <laughs> I have absolutely no problem with um, LGBTQ characters in anything um, some of you may already know that I'm part of the community anyway, so I don't have an issue with that. But it was the way that they did it that just made it a bit odd because they kind of, I, I don't know why they just didn't leave a female. And then for, for the Japanese sensibility, surely that would have been a little more acceptable to them at the time than having, a, a, you know, what ended up being basically two gay characters together. I don't know, but it was it seemed an odd choice. But the reason I'm bringing it up is the fact that people will say, oh, well, that Skywarp's meant to be male, but he's got a female body. Um, no. <laughs> no, not really. Um, it's, um, yeah, it, it works either way, male or female. I don't think it matters. This mould in particular is pretty gender neutral, I would say, anyway. So, yeah. But I, I think... I think it works really well for the character so I'm going to pop him there for a minute um, and 
no let's do the let's do the articulation first so let's let's run down the articulation and i'll do the comparisons so articulation wise his head is on a ball joint so it can look all of the way up and it rotates but if you want to get it over those shoulder pieces you have to lift it up a bit because of the lower face there but you can go all the way around so yeah um you get a little bit side to side but not too much so if you move the wings out of the way you can get the arm to go all the way around and then it will go in and out and then as you saw when i moved it up those shoulder pads will move in and out or up and down rather rotation at the bicep single joint at the elbow it does have these um well it's kind of up and up and down movements on the hands so you can sort of you can punch himself in the chest sort of i mean you get him holding his his hand like that if you wanted to but uh, yeah there's no other there's no rotation at the waist uh, wrist uh, there is rotation at the waist and his legs go all the way up you could do some proper proper high kicking going on there that's like, like super sentai levels of kicking there um it goes to the front to the back uh, we have a rotation sort of just above the knee and then very deep knee bend and then the foot is on a ball joint so you can get all kinds of movement out of that so yeah just like the air razor mold very very articulated and then you can have these wings any way you want. I've got them folded up like this because this is the way the Air Razor one works. But if you wanted it to be a bit more toy accurate, and I'll bring the toy in in a minute, you could just completely unfold them and just have them out like that if you wanted to do it that way. And that actually does look really good like that. I really like the way that works. But just for the moment, I'm going to fold them back up. Because now I will do the comparison. Actually, let's just give him his weapons first. These just pop in on his arms. So just gonna put those in there. Like so. Right, now if I maybe say it for the third time, maybe maybe just gonna magic this this into existence right now i'll do the comparisons and oh yeah look at that there's air razor so you can see basically they're exactly the same just with the different head sculpts and normally that would be a that, that would be a figure that i'd probably not be so interested in buying because it's just a, a repaint oh, he's gonna go now um but uh do you know it's really weird i know that they're the exact same but he does look he, he genuinely looks quite a bit different which is silly because he's not it's the same it's just a different color but yeah i like it i like the way he looks i love air razor though to be fair i, I honestly think that this is the best figure they've done in the beast wars so far um, I know a lot of people really rated the Megatron, but I absolutely hate that figure. But I think that I think that Air Razor is is outstanding. I like her even more than I liked Black Arachnia, and she was my favourite last year. So, yeah, I, I really do love this mould. Uh, but that's it for the Air Razor there. So let's bring in the original Skywarp toy, so you get an idea. And this will be fun because he's got a huge wingspan. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing, Doctor. Look at it. Massive. He is very difficult to display on his own because he's got this massive wingspan and it's it's very, very back heavy. So, But you can see what I mean. There's actually... Um, they're, they're very similar. But you see what I mean about the, the gold plastic? I've got no problem with mine. Um, I don't know if people have theirs breaking. I don't know. Mine seems okay, but I, I tend not to play with it very often. But if you did want to have this toy look going on, like I said just now, you can just spread those wings right out. Um, so that is probably the way I will have mine displayed, because I think that looks pretty cool. 
but you can see if I just bring this one around to the front this might be a bit easier you can see where they were going with this one with the new one you know it's definitely got the look even if it does transform differently um, I think the chances of, of getting the other two members of Magna Boss are slim to non-existent but for what it is I'm okay with it so there you go you get a general idea there so right let me just fold these wings back up so we're at the same starting position and just pop these weapons off also oh I forgot to mention as well just there just underneath the arm a teeny tiny little maximal symbol which is very nice that's that's always cool so right let's you situated there and let's do the transformation right so uh, the best way to do this just sort of move the wings out of the way a little bit and then what you're going to do here is you need to untab this back piece so you just open that up like that and then it's on a rocker so if you want to just move the whole piece just have to rock it back like that and then you take the entire beast mode head and you rotate it upwards like so and then you just push this back and it's going to go that tab there is going to go in the back of the head there so just line that up get that in position and then just pop it back like so just move the tail out of the way you want to rotate the legs at the waist like so and then you're just going to rotate them around um, actually no you want to do the arms first so come up to the arms and you're going to move the arm on that hinge you're going to move it upwards like so and then that is going to go in that cavity there and there's a little tab on the outside of the hand that's just going to rest in here so you just put that there like so and do the same with the other side just bring that shoulder pad down so just bring the arm up rotate slide in and that's that that'll just sit like that then you can come back to the legs and you're gonna rotate the legs around and you can see here there is this hole here and it's gonna go over this tab so you want to rotate at the knees bring that leg around and then that's going to go in there like so and do the same with the other leg And now I've knocked the hand out of the way because I didn't bring the knees back. You've got to bring the knees back first, sorry. Oh. And in you go, there you go. So you'll end up with that. And then you're just going to bring the feet forward. Like so. And then just spread out the wings. We're just unfolding all of this. And then just bring that tail piece down and it'll clip into there. And there you have the beast mode. Oh, hello. And hopefully, hopefully he is going to stand for me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you need to you need to balance them a little bit, but. fall again I can see it coming it's gonna fall again and there you go that's the beast mode so yeah I thought I'd just do that on that transformation I didn't really see the point in doing the side swipe one again you have to get you have to get those legs right or else they will just he will just keep falling forward air razor does the same thing 
yep yeah, okay well since he doesn't want to let's uh let's just plug his weapons in and the weapons just go in that big port on the side of his legs there so I'll just put that in there and just put that one in there like so and there he is so articulation in this mode i mean you've got all the articulation in the wings so you can you can do that however you like uh, the head does rotate and then you can if you get your fingernail in there then you can open his beak and again that's that's just the same <coughs> excuse me my voice is cracking uh, that's just the same as on the original air razor mold uh, I, I, you know the the beast mode isn't fantastic but it's it's not terrible um, we'll get to that in a minute um, let's just bring in the side swipe you can see the two of those together um, yeah, let me bring this out of the way for the minute we'll just talk about side swipe for a couple of minutes so yeah the side swipe it it's it suffers from the same issue that the red alert does but it actually doesn't look as bad it, it's this bit here that they haven't bothered to paint I mean, it doesn't look as bad on here, but it still doesn't look great. I don't understand why they couldn't have put a, a coat of red on there. I just, I don't. And again, it doesn't have the spoiler. Uh, which, an Earth Mode Lamborghini without a spoiler? Nah, nah, I really needed the spoiler. Um, given the prices that this set and the Red Alert went for over here, that we didn't get a spoiler i think is just stingy at this point because it's a it's a mold from three years ago albeit a tweaked mode uh mold rather and they they couldn't give us a spoiler no okay well there we are but otherwise yeah it looks pretty good that's all right it's um a side swipe what can i say what can i say uh, where there is paint, it's nicely done, but there really isn't that much on here. The the rims are painted. Um, got, got some headlights, Autobot symbol, um, and nothing on the back. So yeah, there's not really very much going on there. I do still like the way they're doing this, though. This still looks really good to me. Uh, I I just I don't know what else to talk about with it really because we've seen it so often, haven't we? Um, I mean, weapon storage. You can you can put them put the guns in the same place that you could put them in the siege version. So you can put one up the top, and then you can put your shoulder cannon on the side, or vice versa. You know, you can just sort of you can do all those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know what else to talk about with Sideswipe because we've seen him so often now. This, I, I don't even know how many versions of the the original Siege mold we've had. I've lost count. Um, but yeah, he transforms the exact same way and he looks more or less the same. So yeah. Okay, so let's just quickly go back to Skywarp. Let's bring him in again. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring down Red Alert to do a comparison with Sideswipe, but you already know what he looks like anyway. So, uh, so let's bring in the original um, Air Razor mold for this comparison, and um, <laughs> I'm going to have trouble with getting them both to stand. I have to say, um, Skywarp's feet are a little looser than Air Razor's, but. Yeah, you get the idea. They're different enough. Yeah, they look pretty good together. So, that's that. And then I will just bring in <laughs> this. Oh dear. I will bring in the original toy. I have to say, this, this is one of the... Um, this is one of the least successful Beast Wars toys, and I'm I, I love Beast Wars. I I think most of the figures are pretty successful, but because this is a, a combiner and it forms like the 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 head crest basically 
Um, it, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't really work. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame. But I, I do still love the colouring. Uh, but you, you get a general idea of the what they were going for with the new one. Um, that foot does not want to play. Uh, yeah, uh, his wingspan is just mental as well. It's just so big. But, uh, yeah, there you go. You get a general idea. It's sort of generally like that. I think I might have that slightly mistransformed as well, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to. I don't like to play with this too much because of the gold plastic. Um, I I just I recently I did a review for of Scorponok and I was playing around with my Beast Wars Scorpion, my original Beast Wars Scorponok, and um, and the claw broke. So I t I don't want to play around with this too much, to be honest, because I I really don't want to have a repeat of that and I'm I'm really gutted I don't know how I'm gonna get a, another claw but anywho so yeah I think that's about it um let's bring in side swipe again yeah as a set it's all right like I said at the top of the video I, I initially bought the set for this but honestly I think I like this better I think maybe because I pre-ordered this before I got the red alert and it, the red alert was so disappointing for the price. Um, I, yeah, when, now, when this came, I was like, I can't get this wing right now. I was like, oh, well, you know, it's here now. Um, but I, I actually, I'm, I'm glad I got the set because I really like the sky warp. I think the sky warp is fantastic, and it's just a repaint. But I think, I think I'm just getting a bit. I'm just getting a bit worn out with having this now so many times and they, they've not done anything different with it. If it had had the spoiler, then maybe I would have been a little more excited for it. But like I say, it just it doesn't quite work as a... I think this was the Diablo, wasn't it? A Lamborghini Diablo. It just doesn't really work as a Lamborghini without a spoiler. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, um, this is an Amazon exclusive and... For a change, it is actually available in the UK. Um, at time of recording, I don't know if they have any more left. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, nip to Amazon. If they don't have any there, then I do believe that Hasbro Pulse would were selling these. Um, I know they came out first uh, on Hasbro Pulse, but like I said, I'd already pre-ordered this off of Amazon and I got five off, so I just, uh, just waited for this to come out. So you've probably seen this review like a dozen times already now, but I thought I'd put it up anyway. But yeah, that's it guys. As always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.